guys, it's Polly in 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 1 through 14. We read about Naaman. Yeah, he was the commander of the Syrian army. Mm -hmm. Naaman had a disease called leprosy. Oh, and he needed it to be healed. Oh no, that's the disease where you lose feeling in your body. Yep. So his servant girl told him to go to Israel and see Elisha, who could heal him. Elisha told Naaman to wash seven times in the Jordan. Yeah, and he would be clean. Oh, wow. I bet Naaman was happy. Not really. He thought the Jordan was yucky, and he didn't want to. But after he humbled himself, he did what God told him to and was healed. Oh! That's amazing. Naaman had to humble himself before he could receive healing from God. Yeah. So, I was pondering, what was it like when Naaman was healed? Huh? Let's check it out. Psh. And now it's time for biblical reenactments with Polly's pals. Oh, I cannot believe Elisha wants me to dip myself seven times in the yucky Jordan River. Ah. Uh, I'm out of here. But Naaman, if the prophet had told you to do some great thing, would you not have done it? Huh? 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 Oh, I guess you are right. Here I go. Mmm. <laughs> oh, I am a new man. I feel great. <laughs> and now it's time for deep thoughts with Blub Blub. Oh yes, Naaman humbled himself and received the healing that God had for him. If you humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, ah, you gonna be blessed. Guaranteed. I'm so happy that the Bible tells us to humble ourselves in the sight of the Lord. And He will lift us up. Yeah. I have to humble myself when Grandma asks me to uh, scoop the cat box. Oh, yucky sprinkles, what did you eat? It smells horrible. <coughs> <coughs> oh, glad that's over. Oops, excuse me. Jesus loves you. Bye, bye, bye. See you later. Thank you.